Hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome back to The Witcher 2. Last time we fought a horribly, I don't say horribly programmed, but a very glitchy boss that we could not defeat. And Dandelion just told us about some people who were conspiring atop a hut. That's in a, that's at the cliffside, so let's go and check that out. Oh boy, a lot of stuff's been happening. <laughs> like, what I did is, I don't want to spoil the entire thing for myself, but I did watch, like, what happens for 20 minutes after you find, or not after you find, after you side with Yorvith. I don't intend on spoiling the thing for me because I'm really interested in doing a second playthrough so I can see what Yorvith's side is like. But 15 minutes in, I kind of feel like, I mean, I know you're supposed to feel like there's no right choice because I don't think there is a right choice. But 15 minutes in, you do get a lot more information than you do with Roach. We must rid ourselves of that damned mage, whatever the cost. If it were that simple, you'd be Viceroy by now. Mages don't die easily, and you've not... Three years ago, you promised financial assistance. We were to convey information and resist Death Mold and his supporters in most matters. Nothing's changed. But it has! Foltest and Demovin had their throats slit! Someone we know not who wanted to slaughter the unicorn. The situation's fucking tense, and death mold's stronger than ever. More importantly, you've nothing to offer. Good thing us. we sold them the that Temerian magical treasury script. is closed to you, gentlemen. You forget what will happen if the king learns of our dealings. We'll not be intimidated, Roach. And remember, you speak to nobles. I've been in Kedwin for three days. Traveled through nearby villages and towns. Saw old friends. Sounded out the mood. Asked for news outright. The people of Kedwen detest Deathmold and his thugs. They await the man who would dare to wring his neck. Someone approaches. Weapons. Don't worry, it's just me. What the swive in hell is he doing here? He woke up and walked over, if I am to guess. <laughs> we didn't approve this. How did he know of our meeting? Something I'd like to know as well. Geralt? I have my ways. Unimportant. Indeed. But it is. If you know, others might know. Overheard a conversation between Whistling Wendy and one of you gentlemen. How dare you, freak? I have a wife. <laughs> it's shut. It's all shut, Roach. We return to our banners to aid the king in battle. Your plot is done, dissolved, having achieved nothing. Gentlemen. Roach, what are you doing here? So... How did you ever come to head a conspiracy in a Kedweni camp? It's a long story. Literally. Foltest and I devised the plan three years ago. Shortly after, Henselt burned Sabrina at the stake and appointed Deathmold his advisor. Wow, so this Morale is among really nobles old... and officers was low following the failed campaign. We took advantage. I bought them off, gave them political direction. I received information in exchange. What was your aim? To sow some ferment. Prevent any alliance with the Black Ones, and generally limit Death Mold's and Hensel's influence. So, you... Just like the sorceresses... He, Roach's goal here... With... Sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> Roach's goal here, like the sorceresses, along with Full Test, apparently, not that that matters anymore, was to keep Hensel's from getting too much power. But it's kind of late because we're kind of working for him. And I guess Henselt might be scary if he gains too much power. It appears everyone in the realm, as I'm calling it, fears him and fears what will happen Like if he gets too much power. He might just be kind of like a kid almost inside and not look through things. You were gone three days. Been back at the camp? Any idea what's going on there? I haven't. But continue to get news from those traitors. Who have they arrested? Dandelion mentioned Brightfelt, Kirim of Cainghorn, and... Not good. Kirim has been one of the plotters since the beginning. He knows me. Maybe the interrogators have yet to start on him. Quickly. Back to the camp. We need to warn Vess and oh, the Oh, no. Oh, no. We've no time. They're going to start interrogating soldiers. And that guy's gonna be like... 
So, you know who I know that works here? It's like, well, who? It was like Vernon Roach. And everybody's gonna die. It's gonna be like a horrible Game of Thrones situation. <clears throat> That's just my... That's just my... Guess. Hypothesis, if you must. I mean, I'll, I don't want to be right, though. Like, I want everyone in Roach's super cool, awesome spy group to survive. Because Death Mold is, like, on the edge, and Hensolt just never was there. Oops. Why'd he draw his sword? Hey, guys, we're Finally, back. You're here. What? What? We're fighting. Okay, okay, um, hold on. I don't know why we're fighting, but apparently we are. Let's use... Falkia's blood on our steel sword. I think that'll be all we need. It appears that they have an area in which they can fight because they're leaving. Have they already figured out about what Roach has been doing? Oh, this whirl is doing me wonders. Well, these are Kaedweni soldiers, so what is going on? Where'd everyone go? They were invited to a banquet. A banquet? How do you know? I saw Death Mold's messenger arrive. What is this feast? A celebration. Apparently Death Mold exposed the leader of some conspiracy. The syphilitic prick. Where's this banquet taking place? The camp canteen. But it'll be empty now. Everyone's marched on Vergen. Really? Quickly. So Hensel's already gone to assault Vergen. And I can't imagine Roach's little troop left him behind. So hopefully they're just there getting super drunk. Having a sick kager in the Witcher universe, hopefully. Right, right, that has to be it. Okay. So... Camp looks pretty empty. Finally, you're here. I'll oh, kill great. The sons of bitches. They'll suffer and die long and painfully. Roach, that's a little gung ho to walk in between all four of them and ow. I didn't mean to put my sword away. Yes! One down. Oh, that's a lot. I don't know if I want to fight that many of them right now. Art is a lot stronger than I was giving it credit for. And Whirl is helping us out quite a bit. Oh man, ow. I'm just trying to fight without uh, Quen for a little bit. Ow. We sure take some damage doing it, but it's viable, it seems. Ow. Okay, but we're gonna have to start using it or else it's gonna... Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. I got lucky there. Let's try and get some backstabs in. There we go. Roach, what is taking you so long? There we go. All down. I don't imagine they have any useful loot. Some pants. That's useful. Everyone likes to wear pants. I'm not sure about everyone. I don't know. I don't know. I like wearing pants. Some people just like to shit. God damn it. 
I'll kill the Horsons. Every last one. Oh man, they really got them. Roach, chill. Where's Vess? Oh. Vess? What's up? Vess, are you alright? Yes. What happened? Deathmold invited everyone to a feast. He said the king was grateful that we'd helped reveal the plot. A roast pig and two barrels of wine awaited, he said. He said Vernon had just returned from Kedwin. He was to be personally decorated by the king, and I was to be there to see it. The lads went to the canteen, I went to the royal tent. Well, Roach was not in the king's company. Deathmold jumped around like an ape, shouting that they'd all hang his punishment for Flotsman for conspiring. Oh, um, what did they do to you? I begged them. I pleaded. They laughed at me and let me go. Your Majesty, withdraw your order, I beg you. They're normal fighting men who were just following orders. They don't deserve to die. Please, sire, show mercy. They're men of honor. They deserve better. Honor? Where was your honor when... Deathmold, leave us. Your grace. Okay. What can a whore know of honor? You're a stupid little strumpet, and that is how I shall treat you. You'll behave if you want to see any of your foolish comrades again. Okay. No, Don't go he there, didn't. please, Roach. Deathmold expects you to seek vengeance. He awaits it. He won't need to wait long. Don't you understand? They hanged the lads to provoke you. You were away. They had a battle to win. They didn't know when you'd return. You cannot go there. We won't. We'll follow the army. Kill every kid Winnie we meet. Damn That's straight. Suicide. Plow it all. Everything I loved died in this tent. My country disintegrates. My friends cruelly murdered. I want blood. As do I. You've no idea how much. I can still smell that swine on me, but I'll not let them win. Attack Hensilt now. Among his army and blood will flow. But it will only be yours. Vess is right, Roach. Let it go for now. Fuck! What do you suggest I do? We'll try to get to Vergen through the ravines. I know a hidden path into the town. With the battle raging, we won't be noticed. We'll find Sheila and get the Kingslayer. And in the process, kill as many Kedwenis as we can. Vess, can you manage it? Vess stays. I'll not put her in danger again. And someone must get back to the Percival and its crew. Sail to a nearby cove. We'll need some way to get out of here. I'll take the boat around the bend past the Fair camp enough. and Fair enough, she really needs a break. I want... We must head through the ravines. Shit, shit, shit. Vess is lying. I can vouch for her with my life. I can't believe she escaped death mode. What are you suggesting? Nothing. First I'll kill Henselt, then death mold. Or maybe the other way round. What do you advise? I advise you to shut up and keep your eyes and ears open. Pleasure comes later. Definitely. Okay. So, Henselt is going to get it. So, first off, we have a talent point to spend. There's many places we can put it, but seeing as how that was going, maybe I'll just shove it into world level 2. Because that makes an AR attacks AoE, and it makes them do full damage. So, 100%. Let's just get out of here and head towards... Vergen. Get a move on, I heard that in, uh, what is it? Then in Yorvis campaign, it actually takes place in Vergen. While well, ours takes place here at this camp, so that's how much it varies. So it's a completely different situation. I hate doing this, but it's way faster. So we're just gonna roll for a little bit till we get there. 
This appears to be the way. I hope I don't get too lost in here. Oh. Hugo. Those are random names. I don't know why the game just stuttered right there. They killed some Scoia'tael. I can't tell if those are Cade Bunnies or not. They didn't look like they were wearing their attire, but... I don't really know. And... Nothing so far. There's a crashed ship. What's that beast? A troll. Watch it. He could break your neck with a single blow. Do I look like a cow? Well then. Hello there, big guy. Who are you? What want? Or woman. We're just going through, no problem. We're passing through. We just trolls kill. Me kill. Not easy. Run! Old man coming. Old man rip apart you. Old man. Calm down, we're just Calm going to Vergen. Calm down, you silly cow. We're on our way to Vergen. Where want run, go. This way, not. My home is. Folk in and out. No peace for troll. Bother, bother. Who does? Folk. Geralt, let's end this piece <laughs> suffering. No, maybe she knows something interesting. Wait. Who's been bothering you? Try to remember. We shall other. Shinehead here come. Fat. Shine. Did you speak to him? Hensolt. Tried. But he my face. Thwack. Old man called. Beat in your missus. He sword show. Blood springs. Old man down. Wounds. We shall say rush to Lomin. Oh, okay. Anyone else? Anyone else pass through this way? Lady. Came out fog. Awful reeked. What did she look like? Shoo me, lady. Anything more specific? <laughs> Head strange. Horns huge. Philippa? Sheila. Oh no, Sheila. Why am I saying Philippa? Say Bergen go. Crazy. More? Nothing. Okay, so what's Lomen? You mean Lockmween? So said. We shall say rushed. Other he'd take old man's. You mentioned that already. Thanks for Good the chat, chat, but we gotta no go. No harm in talking, see? <sighs> Sleep I. Run out go. Sweet dreams. Old man see, tell not wake me. I want sleep. Okay, uh, miss, you just go and sleep. I'm just gonna wait for you to sleep so hopefully I can walk by. There you go. Just off you go. I'm just gonna be right here. Okay, then. See you later. I hear screaming out in the distance. How Some many more harpies. can there be? I just want to check up here really quickly because I don't remember what's up on this cliff. Not much, apparently. Excuse us, harpies. Oh, they're gone. They just got bored left, I guess. Never mind, they're back. There we go. And done. Roach, you don't have a silver sword, so it's gonna be a bit more difficult for you. I'd imagine, but... Any sword works, still cuts things. We've no time to lose! Get a move on, Witcher. Let's collect all this harpy stuff, because even though we failed the quest, the feathers do sell for quite a bit. And apparently that's how you can make a lot of money in this area, is by collecting and selling the harpy feathers. They're just exploding into ice because of the ruin I put into the sword, I think. Or perhaps the sword itself. Jeez. This is brutal. Okay, then. That should be the last of them. I don't know why they're carrying around twine, but... Maybe they're into knitting. Oh, 
Oh, hey, it's the old man she was talking about. I just gotta be careful not to hit him. There you go. See, no harm done. Thank good homies. Bad day. <laughs> Take care of yourself, troll. From Gully come. There, my missus. Her see? We did, yes. She? How? She's fine. She's all right, but don't wake her or she'll rip your head off. Dear old bug, like me she, live a flesh she. Okay. See you later, buddy. All right, now that the troll dilemma, it wasn't even really a dilemma. They're so friendly, I just never want to hurt a troll. They're so docile. I mean, if I saw one in real life, I'd probably freak out and say, like, that thing needs to die. die now! Oh, shoot, wrong spell. I meant to cast hard. The king! There we go. That's some good damage. Now all I need to worry about is the shield enemies. Yes! Straight in the neck. Ow. I went to parry. We, need we just need to get behind you, sir. What? How are you standing up? There we go. And... Whoa. Need to be a bit more careful than we're being. For the king! For win. Good job, Roach. Just keep... I don't know what he's doing. Is he firing a crossbow? I don't know what, but he's using some sort of ranged weapon. Anyways, they're dead now. I could loot them, but I don't really want anything that they have, most likely. Alright, we're almost out of this area... With the old quarry again. Isn't this the feather man's house? Where are you headed? You don't want the feathers anymore. Well, okay then. Ah, uh, we can go so many ways. We can Shit, go stink. down there. But something just tells me that's not where we're supposed to go. I think we are supposed to go... Let's take a look at the map. Uh-huh. Uh, that's not really descriptive. That way leads back to... I have no clue. Let's check up here and see if this is the way... I'm using the wrong sword, but it's slowing them. I don't think this is the way. Well, there's Kate Lenny soldiers blocking it, so perhaps. Your arse. I love that instant 360 block. Hack at him! There we go. And down for good. Okay, so now that all the Kedwani soldiers are out of the way, we can freely progress. Or not. Looks like into the harpy pit it is. Or up this way, actually. Yeah, this is where I wanted to go. Right, let's save really quickly. I bet it's going to be pretty dark in here, but we don't know. Man, I am so mad at Hensel. 
I am so mad at it's so dark in here. We have to make a cat and drink it. Like, I so far, I almost kind of wish I went with Yorvith. Because in Roach's campaign, we've barely met the Skoyatel. And every single enemy that we fought that's a horrible person so far has been human. That's also due to them being in the majority, but... Like, there hasn't been any straight-up evil dwarves yet, I don't think. There hasn't been... There was, uh... Lorito? Yeah, Lorito, I think his name was. Uh, there was Lorito, who died, and he was a horrible, horrible man. And now we have Hensolt and Death Mold. So maybe I picked the wrong side, but... You know what? The side I wanted to pick was the one with Vernon Roach in it, because he's just... He hasn't done me any wrong yet. I can hear people fighting again. Don't worry, I, Geralt of Rivia, is on the way. I wish... No, I don't. I really...